All right, so welcoming everyone who's joining. Thank you for being here today. My name is Arya, and it's my great pleasure to get to um, share with you the sacred sound bath with Monique, uh, dear, dear, amazing, amazing woman in my life. And um, I'll kick us off with a little grounding so we can all, all drop in together first and um, then say a, a little bit more. Um, let's take a moment to let our eyes lower and begin to breathe into our bellies, allowing our breath to shift all the way down to our bellies, noticing what it's like to breathe into this area of the body in this moment. And allowing yourself to connect to whatever may be present here for you at this time. As you invite your breath to slow down and become deeper. And just noticing what that's like. And taking a moment in this space to see if there's any movement that would feel nourishing for your body, allowing yourself to maybe twist or bend, wiggle or shake or stretch. Or maybe your body wants to just be in stillness a little longer. Whatever feels nourishing for you, just allowing it. And only when you feel ready, allowing eyes to open once again. So once again, welcome to anyone who is new, who just joined. And this is um, part of the Rise in Resiliency series in response to coronavirus and how many of us are um, in isolation of some kind right now. And, community uh, events being canceled in many, many places. And so, um, yeah, wanting to create a, a way for us to stay connected and also build the skills needed for um, resiliency at this time. Mm, I know for myself and, and many people, there's a uh, focus on keeping the immune system strong right now and physical health. And there's also the um, importance of having a, a strong and clear uh, mind and a nourished and supported heart and spirit, emotional health as well. So um, that's the intention for today, is that we get to drop in together, be together in, um, in sacred space. And a uh, um, little bit about me, and then I'll introduce Monique. Um, again, my name is Aria, if, if we don't already know each other. And I work one-on-one -on -one and in groups with folks around um, supporting people stepping into their, their leadership and their uh, embodiment of their gifts and their powers, their superpowers. Um, and so uh, it's through, through some of that work and um, that I've been so honored to cross paths with Monique and uh, who, we, who we call for short Momo. And um, uh, 
really have been so blessed by her her music, her um, ability to channel deep medicine and wisdom through song and through sound. And um, the times that I've been able to uh, experience her sound baths have been incredibly supportive. And so I'm really, really so grateful for um, her willingness to join us today. And um, yeah, trust and, and know that this is going to be, uh, be a treat for all of us to uh, fill up our cups and, and kick off Monday in a good way. So with that, I'll hand it over to you, Monique. Thank you, thank you. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are on this big, beautiful planet. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you, Aria, for creating this series just right away when things started shutting down. You're like, we're doing this. Who's coming? Who's who's collabing? And I was like, yes, this is beautiful. And I love resiliency, resilience. The concept of resilience is one of my favorite uh, personal just like healing tones um, because there's so much energy around um, it taps us into like the remembering of how our body was created and our spirit was created and the instructability of our soul and just that we we were created for all times not just good times and that we can weather it and there's just such an internal strength about that so yay yay for resilience and one of the biggest ways that I um, you know feed myself and other people out in the world is through sound and I believe that sound does multiple things um, for the body mind spirit uh, and resiliency ensuring um, accessibility to that state on a mental and spiritual and emotional level um, especially with these babies I'm going to tone a little bit so you can hear them So we're going to bathe in these gorgeous tones and sounds today and shake off anything that is sticking to our cellular makeup. And we're going to balance out the four quadrants of the brain so that we can have accessibility to new thought, creativity, coming back home to like this internal and personal state of homeostasis and just like you know, play with the angels, essentially. <laughs> um, so I'm so, so grateful to see so many of you that I do know. It really brings me joy. And to see so many of you that I'm just seeing uh, your name or your face for the first time. Thank you again. <sighs> oh, and we have kids on. I love that. Hi. <laughs> So before I get started, just in case um, this is your first sound bath and you're not familiar with this technology, um, I am working with two separate bowls today and I might bring in an ocean drum. We'll see what, what I'm guided to do. Um, it's raining here, so it feels kind of like I'll be using that. Um, but these frosted bowl sets, I have six of them. I had seven, but one broke, unfortunately, in my move. Uh, but these are tuned to the chakras, and these are uh, vibrating at a hertz or frequency of 432. And 432 is the um, hertz and frequency that our mother, the earth, actually resonates to. So this brings a face line of harmony with nature and where we, where we live. Um, uh, and then these alchemy bowls, I have a set of three. This is a grandmother bowl. She is very, very special and very ancient. I have a grandfather bowl. And then my sweet little cheerful laughing Buddha. And these are tuned to the grandmother and grandfather bowl are both A's, which means there's a third eye, but they're an octave apart. So the grandmother grounds the third eye and the grandfather activates the front facing third eye. 
Laughing Buddha is the eighth chakra, which is the soul chakra. So this is called my purpose set. This really anchors in vision, connection to like your soul assignment here. And they are tuned to the frequency of 528 hertz. So we're working with some really beautiful frequencies to get into the cell membrane and again, shake off anything that is not in alignment, that's not allowing our system to just click in and operate at its optimal space. Um, so yay, with that, let's give a little shake. And then we're gonna take a deep breath in and exhale out the mouth audibly. So, <sighs> gonna do two more of those. Inhale. <sighs> this next one, I'm gonna invite you to do a lion's breath. And if you've never done lion's breath, it goes like this. Stick your tongue as far out as possible and just ah, like hot breath, fogging up a mirror. <laughs> All right. Yeah, activating that fifth chakra, the throat chakra, and beginning to purify and neutralize any acidity in the bloodstream. Beautiful. And so now we're going to bring that breath internal and begin to quiet it and Connect with our individual breath and the pace in which our body is currently um, synced up to. We're just noticing. Noticing any sensations that we're experiencing in the body. Restlessness, how the energy is flowing. And with our next inhalation, we begin to connect to that breath even deeper. We begin to feel what it feels like to have gratitude in our body. Just so much relief that we are not in control yet completely supported. And with that gratitude and that relief, we thank and bow to our greatest ally, which is our breath. present to the fact that we are breathing at all times. It is working. It is doing its thing to keep us alive, to keep us connected to all the living things in this universe. On your next inhalation, we invite our intention guiding light of this journey. Claiming what it is that we most desire in this moment. Be that restoration. Be that healing connecting to the frequency and the electricity of resilience. And with the next breath in, we bring that intention up through the sacral and solar plexus and into the heart chakra. 
planting that intention like a seed in the center of our hearts. Allowing that intention to grow roots. And for a moment, if possible, to connect to how it already feels for that intention to be fulfilled. The expansion and relief and wholeness. And if you're unable to connect to that feeling, maybe grab a memory that is associated with what your intention is associated with. On the next inhalation, we will bring that beautiful intention that is charged with the intelligence and might of your heart. And we will bring it up through the throat chakra to the third eye. Opening the passageway for sight, right seeing, visions, receptivity. Finally, with this next breath, we bring it up to the crown and offer it, imagining a bridge here between your crown and your soul chakra, the eighth chakra. And this intention is an offering that you release to the heavens where your guides can meet you, where the angelic beings that surround you and walk with you are able to connect and bring what you are asking for forward. If it is your sovereign divine will to receive from your guides, your angels, the ancestors that walk with you, internally agree so it be and if you allow for me to also anchor in frequencies to support that journey internally agree so it be
deepening our breath, coming back to the body. Mm, giving so much, so much gratitude and thanks to our guardians, our angels, our ancestors, and any of the guides that serve the light that walk with us. Thank you to this ancient technology of sacred sound. Thank you to each one of you for coming together to create such a strong, beautiful container and field. Thank you, Aria, for the honor to support and facilitate these beautiful bowls and allow the goddess to come through. Taking a few more deep breaths, grounding back into the body. As you descend back into your body, allowing your spirit to settle, giving thanks to the third eye, the third chakra, the magnificent heart, the power center, solar plexus, your sacral and your breath, and your root that connects you to all other human beings, your brothers and your sisters. As you anchor in this resilience and your intention is fulfilled, you emit healing for the entire planet and all other beings that exist and move on this planet. Thank you so much. I'm gonna hand it back over to Aria, but I do want to offer that there is an opportunity to share what you experienced if something came up for you um, on all sides, like through all sides of the spectrum, not just rainbows and butterflies and angels, but the other stuff too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Monique. Wow. <laughs> and yes, inviting any shares in the chat um, about any experiences. I'm curious if there's anyone that would want to share where they were when they came in and where, where you are now. Mm -hmm. Any observations after that, um, after that transmission? Mm. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> if you're new to the chat, you can access it down at the um, bottom middle of the of the screen. And um, so the entire body tingling. Healthy way to start the day. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that share. Hmm. Someone sharing, they're, they were in a more mental space when they joined and now feeling more grounded, centered, open, and grateful. Whole body vibrating, yes, echo that. <laughs> feeling more connected, aligned, open, overpouring with love. Mm, pleasurable, grateful, yes, thank you, beautiful. Mm, you're welcome to continue to share. And uh, I am, um, mm, oh my gosh, oh Maggie, yay. <laughs> Maggie sharing that her, her baby in her belly was dancing around with us mm. and shadowy and grieving. Yes, softer. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Aww. 
Mm, blessings on the on the children in and out of body who were able to join today. That's so special. <laughs> and um, I'd love to invite you, Monique, to share any ways that people can continue to stay connected with you. Any um, ways? I know I've experienced your beautiful one-on-one -on -one work, and I know you're offering sound baths um, regularly at this time as well. So yeah, if you could speak a little to what's available. Thank you so much. Yes, so I have been running a weekly sound bath series called Distant Not Disconnected. And we have our last sound bath this Friday at 5 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. Eastern. And all you have to do is just register for that. Um, lives on Instagram and Facebook. I can find a link for you um, and pop it into the chat. And so, anyone um, for those registered here, well, you'll get their email, so they'll be informed automatically, I think, yeah. So. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah. Um, and then, yes, I do some really beautiful one-on-one -on -one work right now, and I'm doing a, um, some promotional stuff for this time that we're all going through to support um, on all the levels um, that are necessary to be supported on um, for artist development, creation development, creative strategy, um, and just the power of sound, supporting with the power of sound. Mm. Amazing, yes, I think um, the importance of all of this is being um, accessible at this time, you know, the, the power of what may be on our hearts to speak or sing or pray. Um, Monique is, is incredibly gifted at really helping to, to draw that out of us um, and, and empower the voice. Um, and I want to share a couple other, speaking of voice, a couple other beautiful shares that came in. Someone feeling deeply rested and aware of the need for rest and formlessness. What a beautiful, beautiful vision there, the formlessness. And a cat joined in, <laughs> listen, listening from Leslie's lap. Hooray, Kiwi. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Content at peace. Yes, most medicine is powerful. I agree. Needing resistance to receive and rainbows to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace of heart and mind received. And Monique shared her Instagram um, on uh, on the chat as well. Um, I just found out about Instagram TV, guys, and wow, Monique's channel is really great. You've got to gotta check it out, got to tune in there. <laughs> um, keep, keep it going. Um, and so, yeah, as we move into, into our close, I want to also thank um, the organizations, uh, mostly local to where I am in Northern Michigan. I see many people from uh, our little neck of the woods um, in Northern Michigan who are here. So I just want to give a shout out to Yana D, beautiful organic clothing available online as well, made ethically. I want to shout out to Bare Earth Herbals available for um, herbal one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations for building immunity and staying resilient in the body and amazing teas and things also available online. Um, uh, also to Inspired Living, um, amazing uh, store uh, locally here. They've um, put a giant uh, crystal uh, grid in the window for this time and um, have, have a beautiful online shop as well. And then a couple of, of the yoga studios, Yoga Bel Air and um, Willow Way Spa, and um, uh, Balanced Living also, who are all offering online classes. So check out um, any of those organizations if you're needing a little more support or to stack up on um, things that are gonna nourish your heart and body right now. And uh, we have one more event for this, uh, well, technically two. We have one more special guest on Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. 
Eastern time. I hope you can join for um, Elizabeth Wolf sharing about somatic experiencing and how to regulate the nervous system in times of stress when we're feeling anxiety. Really, yeah, Mo shaking her head. Yeah, she knows about this body of work <laughs> as well. Um, really important. And uh, so I hope you'll join for that. And then Friday evening at eight, the, um, the regular open sharing circle. And I am um, also available for one-on-one -on -one, uh, connections if anyone is really needing support during this time. Um, I'm making myself available with some, some free sessions right now. And I'm um, going to continue the Rise and Resiliency series with a, a, a group coaching experience that's going to focus on the, the, um, the technologies available through the HeartMath Institute. Um, which I think many of you are from, may, may be familiar with at this point. So um, more to come on that later, but um, it's, a, it's a beautiful body of work about um, connecting to our heart, creating more resiliency in our body um, with scientifically proven tools that actually help build immunity. So um, I'll be sharing more about that as it, as it um, becomes available, but I, I hope... Uh, I hope to see many of you in that space. We can continue doing this work together and um, stay connected. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love to everyone. Love to the world right now and inviting us to um, do our little blessing we've been doing to close our sessions. If you'd like to join me in rubbing your hands together really fast, building up some heat and some energy, and then sending that out to the world, to each other's hearts, to everyone experiencing symptoms at this time, everyone breathing at this time, all of the healthcare workers, everyone impacted, which is everyone. Sending, sending, sending with gratitude and love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big hugs, big air hugs to you all. I miss you. <laughs> Take care. Love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Goodbye. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm.